Hey, Gabs and Lux here, back with our blind playthrough of Subnautica Below Zero. So you'll notice they updated this finally. Um, 1.0 has been released for a couple weeks now, I think, just about. Regardless, they changed the, the news feed piece, so that's there's that. So last time we... Did we find the third piece of the parallel processing thing last time? Oh, there's Jack. Uh, regardless, I think so. And then I believe we found, uh, and then we went to Marguerite's greenhouse. We found that. We got some, some new stuff from that and got a couple new PDAs on clues about where to go next. So that's Interesting, I may... Uh, I don't really want to, but I might see how deep we can go. What am I... What am I scanning here? Oh, her herself, huh? You can look all you want. There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, well, let's pull up some of this stuff while we're... The Chinese potatoes... Yeah, we got Chinese potatoes, we got marble melons, we got Preston's Delight, which I think might actually get the... It might cause, like, a high, right? Although, apparently it paralyzes humans. I'm gonna have to try eating one. See what happens. Oh, uh, let's see. Sam. Uh, PD on the bench that can point you in the right direction. All right, well, so tech, first off, habitat installations, interior grow bed, designed for use exclusively inside regulated habitat modules. The interior grow bed is more compact than the outdoor version and features a hydroponic nutrient delivery system, which is weird because she's using the hydroponic things in here, but the one of the comms or logs or whatever talked about her creating it in the soil itself, which... Presumably, she learned how to do from Bart. Bart Torgal. Uh, let's see. Research, indigenous life forms, flora, exploitable, marble melon plant. The plant collects water from the air rather than relying on its root system and produces large fleshy fruits, which are both edible and have atypically high water content. Assessment edible. High water content. Right on. Pull up the maps. Marguerite. Marguerite Maida. See, we don't have log number one. We should find that if we can. Name Marguerite Maida. Occupation freelance security personnel. Status missing. Previously thought to be dead. Last known contact was on a recording found in another sector of 4546B, which claims that she killed a Reaper Leviathan. Ah. Personality markers. Marguerite is highly distrustful of authority figures, especially those tied to corporate entities. She's strong-willed and seems cold upon initial contact. Ha ha ha. Temperature pun, right? Below zero. I, I get it. That was probably unintentional, but maybe. History. Not much is known about Marguerite. She was born and raised in Mongolian states, a backwater corporate colony exploited for its mineral resources. She left home at 16 and went from one mercenary job to another. Eventually, she did tours with Mongolian Defense Force and Trans System Federation. She held an esteemed career before being dishonorably discharged from the TSF for going off mission. Details are unclear, but resources have unearthed. Unearthed some scant details. Marguerite was the head of an intel and reconnaissance mission. We aren't clear what she stumbled upon, but she silently eliminated the local, the entire local security apparatus over the course of three days. None of the local families would give more information. They only said they thanked God's hand for saving them. So she's a hero now. I mean, they kind of touched on it a little bit, but they... They just said she went off mission. They didn't... It just said it was classified. None of the local families would... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God's hand for saving them. Her last mission was aboard the Degasi as private security against potential pirates and scavengers, which crashed on 4546B. I've already synthesized an antidote and stashed it in a cave. 
I can go grab it and... That's your plan? You don't think it'll work? <sighs> You're thinking too small. Like maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on! Is a bacteria a threat, or isn't it? It is. Does it need to be dealt with or not? It does. So who's right on this? I am. Say it like you mean it! I am. I said like you mean it, not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court. I am. Right. Then what you gotta do is seal off the whole cave. I've got just the stuff. Made it for fishing, but it blew the whole ice shelf halfway to deep space. Vaporized all the fish. Okay. And you gotta hit the lab, too, or there's just no point. Actually, you know what? Let me take care of that one. It'll be fun. Fair enough. I have a feeling the cave will not be just so blown up so basically this is saying point us in the right direction find the cave and the lab we found the lab already can we talk to her now that we've heard that thing no that's an interesting little pda she's got on her as well right all right well so now we need to find the cave which we've sort of found let me rephrase that. We didn't find the cave itself. We found a map. Presumably this. Presumably this. Um, and I don't know how much of the rest of this place I've been into, but... Okay, so we need to make the spy pangling. Uh, I don't want to go across the bridge. I think we might need to. I think we might need to. I don't know what's out there. I think that's the polar worm. I don't know if there's the snow stalkers out there. But we need to find the snow stalkers. That's the big thing. Uh, right now, first thing is go back to base and deal with all of this. <sighs> I do have to say I really like... If you're going to build something on land, having a glass roof is the way to go. Because it, the, the sky, the weather systems, all that stuff, super pretty. Super freaking pretty. Frost face plant. Oh, yeah. Pick up snow. Well, yeah, the inventory is full. We don't have a, any water purification stuff at the moment. I don't know what that roar was. I don't... I don't think it's an actual... I don't think it's an actual creature. I think it's... I know this sounds terrible. Generic, scary environment sounds, right? Let's place a marker, though. We have one. We'll... we'll uh, shit. I should, I should run up there and place it on the top. Um, let's do that. So we'll dive in here glow whales okay i should i should see how deep we can go because all of this is fairly safe at the moment and then we'll uh, we'll make this go a little bit deeper turn on the lights all right uh how do we get to the top again follow the lights i suppose and right we can eat the we have plenty of peppers we can eat those But yeah, I want to add a beacon. Well, hello. What is that over there? Or was that where we found the satellite? That might be where we found the satellite. North... North by Northwest? We have to go over and check. All right, so we'll, we'll drop a marker. Where's where's my beacon? I don't know which one of these is hand base alpha. Maybe the first one. Kapow! Beacon seven. Um, 
Made a... Can I put an apostrophe? Greenhouse. Made his greenhouse. Made his greenhouse. Sorry, it's orange, but, you know, that's, that's fine. Orange is fine. We'll change the color here in a second. First things first, back to the sea truck, and then check out uh, that green glow. North by Northwest. I think we've been there. Beacon manager made his greenhouse, make it blue. Dropped beacon. I want to change the name of this. So it's a bit more, you know, descriptive. All right, back to, well, not back to this way, but this way. Ah, right, it is the crash satellite. Which, again, kind of silly, but there you go. Pilot, last known position. We'll keep that. That's, um... Should we turn that blue? Or... No, that's where we want to go, right? We want to go back there. We want to go to the other side of her house. And, you know, and just make sure, right? All right, but first... Oh, right. I don't I don't want to dive deep. I, I do not want to. Because I did ask I did want for more open water. Open water is what terrifies me though. Because what's down there? I see the glow whale. See that. I don't know what else is down there. I don't know. The sonar, if I had the sonar, that would help. But I, I don't have that. Let's aim for the ham base. Oh. Maybe this is how you get to the cache. Cache. I say it both ways because I'm a pedestrian, I guess, or something. I don't know. Um, that means this could kind of go... We just got to watch the depth. I don't know if we want to turn the lights on or off at this point. I don't know. Oh. Okay, no, this is the seafloor. Uh oh. Wait. So. Okay, this sounds about right then. This is where. Oh, God, and then it turns all black and I can't see anything. Um. Right, okay, so we're probably in the lily pad area, right? We got squid sharks, glow whales. These are probably li lily pad thingamabobs. Yeah, we're going, we're going towards that. I don't know how to get to there from here. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea. So either maybe, maybe farther down and then under like Lost River area. You know, almost, almost as if that's like the disease research facility from the original. You have to find a way to go deeper, um, or through the orange lily pad area, which not super enthusiastic about going back to. All right, so we have a few different ways now, a few different areas, paths we can pursue. See, doesn't that look like it's got... It's just its markings. I guess it doesn't have Kara. That was cool. The newt fish. It's nutritious. Nutritious. Where is... Where is Reginald? What did I... Did I whack this? Really? This one gets whacked? Yes, it does. I, I scanned these, right? I, I don't remember them being... I wish it would tell me what it was. I don't know if we can grow anything from it. Because it looks like there's things at the bottom, right? Uh, let's find out. Okay, research. 
Also, she stopped doing her personal logs. She'll probably, there's probably more. It's probably like story or milestone related or something. Indigenous life forms, flora, sea, blooming raindrops. The bioluminescent bulb that grows at the top of the stem stores nutrients when sunlight is in short supply. Let's cut it. What is that? I hear something. Okay, it's a whale. I was like, holy crap, I bet that's going to be a shark, and then I'm going to turn, you know, and, and all of a sudden it's going to attack me. I don't know if we can... That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know if we can take a sample of it, but we'll we'll try. Nope, it's hard. It's too hard. Well, at least that helps, right? That narrows it down, because it's like, you know, now we know. Now we know we can't do anything with those. We also know that you can run into them, which isn't great. Man, I want a little jelly, or not a uh, lily pad. Imagine like putting that in your aquarium. Like maybe it wouldn't work in a uh, normal grow bed, right? But you you put it either in the alien containment or those little aquariums that you have and they like a little miniature lily pad floats off the surface and takes a little tiny chunk of the aquarium floor with it that would be amazing yep i hear you what else can i make for the sea truck can i upgrade are we at the point where we can upgrade the depth or Make the... Uh, wait, what is this? What this is? We have multiple things right here. I hit another fish, apparently. And a PDA! Alright, first things first. If you mess with me, I will cut you. Oh, it's a bladder fish. We gotta get it. Alright. Maybe scan these things first off. Grab PDA. That's number one. Control room rapid depressurization. I'm a little irritated that the control room... Um, was not a little bit more... What's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't as good as, as, as I thought it was going to be. It's just kind of eh. Okay, what is... Really? That's... Sea truck fabricator. We don't have this, right? One out of three. Okay. Sea truck regular fragment. Indeed. Well. Uh, still not a lot of space. Chair. Am I missing anything else? Ooh, yeah, baby. Control room, operational hub for observing and managing habitat power structure. I have this. Yeah, tech already in PDA. Um, yeah, okay. We'll drink some water. Drink one, two. And then we'll get this. That way, if I pass by this area again, I know it's already been gotten because it's open. Uh, those things, I mean, we can't do anything with. And then repair my buddy. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright. Data bank. Tech. Vehicles. Fabricator module, right? Contains one wall mounted unique fabricator. Unique fabricator. And a small amount of additional storage space. The fabricator module allows operations allows operators to craft everything available on a standard fabricator, while additionally offering the ability to construct sea truck modules. As in these things, kind of like a mobile vehicle bay does. Kind of neat. Failure to attach this module for trips lasting longer than eight hours absolves the manufacturer of fault in all incidents regarding caloric intake, energy intake deficiencies. NB, this module is powered by the sea truck's main cabin. I wonder, because they keep saying this, 
I wonder if there's going to be like a power module. Like a like a bioreactor module or something like that. Control room rapid depressurization to weld team and electrical. We're getting closer. I know the control room will change the process of base building. Contains all the information you need and need in a singular place. Energy delegation for low sunlight areas, build layout, structural information, etc. We're just leaps we're leaps and bounds away from V1, which literally just rolled to the bottom of the ocean, even on flat ground. Rapid implosion is supposed to be painless. I hope that's true. I see. Definitely a better way to go than the electrical fire in version 5.7. Poor way to go. Super unfortunate radio call to over here. Jasmine was the latest worker that volunteered to test the control room for hazard pay, of course. She was on the radio examining some information panels when she experienced rapid, depress rapid depressurization due to a hull breach. Apparently the panels were welded poorly and blew a hole in the wall. So no hazard pay for her, or anyone else for that matter. At least she didn't suffer. The next build should have all the kinks ironed out. Um, yeah. So what are they? Freaking, um... They're, uh... Oh, I guess I could scan more. I do. Yeah, let's eat those. And we'll scan some more of this stuff. Um, I guess... They're supposed to be like, uh... What is that company in Portal 2? Oh, we probably should have opened the, the crates, but whatever, we don't... I don't know what's in them at the moment. And more titanium is never a bad idea. It's not... Why does that look weird right there? Oh, then again, they all kind of look like that. Never mind, I guess. Um, all right, onward. You know, it's weird. It's not Aperture. Is it Aperture? No, Aperture was the one that did the portal gun. Who was the rivals? No, Aper it was Aperture. Aperture, uh... We're rivals to Black Mesa. Anyway. What was interesting was in the original, the original uh, Subnautica, all the PDAs and stuff you would find would be in pieces from the Aurora, right? They're, they'd be in like wrecks, large wrecks, large or small, whatever. Um, and but here, it just seems almost random, right? Because before, you could scan for large wrecks, or you'd be going around and find large wrecks or whatever. And the map seemed really big, but you could basically build a scanner room in each biome, fully upgrade it, and then, uh, you know, and then it would be like, oh, large wreck. Okay, well, let me go there and find something. Or, or the life pods. Life pods would also have PDAs and stuff. Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. So... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Here, it's just like, oh, driving along. Oh, I found a piece of the wrecked ship. Oh, I found a piece of the... I found a... A former base, maybe? I don't know, that was just exploded? Like, for what reason was that thing there? Nope, that's the wrong thing. I need you. Because we're going to build something for the potato. A couple things. I don't know how much... These, I guess, take up one space. That takes up four. Okay, so we need, like, three planters. Right, we have the composite. And then, uh, I mean, we have the wall planters, but what's that noise? Is it done charging? 
then the Sheik. All right, so we'll put, uh, uh, you know what? This one grows the delights, so we'll, we can pick it. We'll put it in the middle. Okay. This one, uh, Chinese potato, I suppose. And this one, uh, the melons. Bam. Just like that, half of our inventory is freed up. We have to turn this into water. I do like that art. Hang in there. I will. I will, good buddy. Right? <laughs> uh, right. Okay, filtered water. Let's hope we use the old one first. And it did. Excellent. And let's replace some of our batteries. What was the new cooked food? Wait. Spicy fruit salad, a surprisingly delicious salad with warming effects. And this is... That's kind of neat. I have detected an energy signature of some strength. I am not sure what it is for. Go ahead and share it. Can't hurt. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't know. Okay, the body cachet. It looks like that's about the same... distance, maybe? And that's on the way to... Kappa. I don't think that's the statue. It's probably beyond the statue, but... Uh, yeah, it's weird. It, feel, it almost feels like these are, like, fetch quests or something. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right. It's like, go here and find this thing. Not, you know, hey, uh... If you, if you check this out, you'll be... You'll find goodies or something. I, I don't know. It, it, I don't know. And let's replace the batteries in these two. Okay. Boom. And then five. Bam. Whoop. Dot. Whoop. Uh, cancel. How do I cancel? Escape. That works. Uh, the scanner too, I suppose, but eh, whatever. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's get some food. I think the Preston's plant leaves we're not going to be able to harvest for a minute yet. Right, does it say? Does it say, where's the little, where's the little thingamabob over them? Because usually it says growing, or sometimes, you know? See, that's 29. Um, you know, I mean, what we could do is just eat some of the shrub nuts, right? Because those are... Mmm. It just makes me laugh at how sexual that is. I mean, it's not, it's probably not sexual on purpose, but it, it kind of comes across that way for whatever reason. All right. How's my baby bioreactor? Reasonably full still. It's not really depleting a lot and our, that thing, we should pull out you know what? I wonder if we could just... Do we want to make a... An extra thing for, like, food and stuff? I mean, we have the fridge. We could just put it in the fridge. Alright. That's fine. One more in there. That's good. That's enough. All right, where to? Uh, old Maida's last known position. Let's go there. Right, so we have a couple places. The body cachet, we need to find that artifact. Maida's last place. Um, there is the up there. 
And then, of course, there's all the pangling stuff. Which we probably should do. I think we probably should do that. That... Oh, you know what? Let's let's see what we need for some of these. Why? So I go up and it, nothing. I, it won't let me re-engage the docking thing. I go down after trying to go up and then it then it then it does. Right. Anyway. Prawn. Right. We could make the prawn, but I don't know if I really need that at the moment. Depth gray upgrade. We've got that. Afterburner, don't know. What about modification? Mm, synthetic fibers, we need those. Swim charge fins, we cannot yet make polyaniline, I don't believe. So, we're kind of hosed until we find different areas, which possibly could be these. You know, I've tried to scan every plant. Oh, I just thought the, uh... The propulsion cannon, like, we don't know... I found one of those somewhere, I don't know where. And that's the only one that I found, so... Don't know. I'm glad... Even though the rock punchers are cut content from the first one, and I've probably said this before, but I'm glad they're in it. I'm glad they're in this, because I feel like... The first one had a lot. And... This one does also have a lot, but I mean, you know, of course it relies on the first one, right? But additionally, it's one of those things where I feel like I kind of wanted more variety, right? So far, we haven't seen... We've seen the... Uh, the Ochu thing, right? The crab, the claw, trap, whatever. We've seen that. That's cool. But so far, everything seems to basically... Nope, not the cachet. We want the last known position of the pilot. There's a shark. Squid. Squid shark. And that's kind of a dumb name. I feel like that should have a different name. Right, that is not alien tech. Alright, back down here. There's sea monkeys. Did they rebuild any of their nests with anything? Not... Not yet. Not that I could see. Right. Lily pads. Stuff. Uh, last known position. I don't... Not made his greenhouse. Maybe I should have left a marker... But I didn't. It's too late now. Well, I think it all kind of leads to the same place anyway. There's Ruby, which we have plenty of. Lots of Ruby. Ooh, hello. Is this the oxygen tank? I hope so. I hope so. Ultra capacity tank fragment. Yes. Yeah. Let's see what we need. Yeah. Uh, right. Spicy fruit salad. It does look good. But interestingly enough, you make it from the leaves, not from the fruit. All right, what's next? Uh, yeah, propulsion cannon, the spy pangling. That's not too hard to make, actually, either. Right, okay. Right. Four lithium. I don't think we have four lithium, but we'll 
I'll try to remember that we need lithium. Okay. Quartz growing in the thing. All right. We will go this way. I don't know if this is the right way to go, but this is the way we're going. And that is something. Just trying to look around, make sure there's none of those tentacle things. What is this? Oh, just... That's nothing... That's nothing special? Oh, it looks special. It's not, though. Odd. There's a shark. I don't want to see sharks eat. I don't want to see any more sea monkeys get killed. Uh, which way? My gut actually says this way. Well, hello, what about you? Grappling arm? Do we have... Yeah, we've already got that. Fine by me. Oh, there's the thing. Let's... Right, there's a light. So we're heading in the right direction. Questions, where is... Oh, Maximum yep, that's right, I remember now. Damage imminent. How about you go away? Okay. Wish me luck. I don't know where we're going, but we're going. Right here. Cool. Just do not destroy my sea truck, if you please. Do not destroy it. You know, where was her prawn suit, also? I know we passed the actual habitat. I just want to, you know... Hello, what are you? Are you another... That's a bladderfish, just different. Okay. Just the lighting was different. Oh, they're back. Well... That's no fun. But maybe they'll let us in the, in the little side area. Don't... Don't eat me this time. You again. Hmm. Indeed. Can I, uh, can I check out your, your house? Whoa, that was weird. A jaw, like, moved. All right, I'm just gonna, uh, you know, hey, just wander around your place a little bit, if that's cool. Hey, Preston. Just, uh, you know, gonna kind of walk back this way. If that's, uh, if that's all right. Yep. Yep, all right. Don't worry about it. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Is that meat? What is it, a hot plate? Small stove, really. Okay. Lots of booze and stuff. Fish, of course. Dried fish. Coffee, lots of coffee cups, which doesn't make any sense because it won't let us actually do anything with the coffee. Like, you need a thermos. Bulbo tree, right on. Is this a glass table? So it is. Sink. Toilet. weird it's been according to the thing it's been 59 days and my character hasn't had to go to the bathroom I mean I'm all right with that but shower it's you know you don't have to worry about that stuff in in video games thankfully I can't scan the lantern tree like or the bulbo plants are these fake they must must not be implemented I guess kind of annoying She's got a bed. That's good. 
Where did all the cloth come from? Punching bag. Bandit PDA. Log number three. So where's log number one? Oh yeah, look at that little thing. Trash can. Habitat builder. Okay. Hmm. No, I guess I'm just hallucinating, but where is log number one? That is the question. I wonder if you can scan for that stuff. Maybe that's log number one. Can I? No, I can't jump over it. Ooh. New technology acquired. Hell yeah. Was that always there? Thanks for letting me take it. I don't. I mean, you know, you don't have a sea truck, and I do. I, I hope I still have a sea truck. Still showing up on there, anyway. All right, uh, log number one. Probably at, uh... I mean, if I had to guess where it would be, probably at, um... Um... The south dock thing. Right? Probably there. Wait. Wait, are these things? Can I... Are these what I need? No. Kind of looks like teeth in a or candles in a disturbing way. What about you? Are you... I can do something with you? No. Okay. Well... Yeah, made his log. Number one, don't know where that is. Probably on that island. And I just missed it the first time. We have another artifact... Possibly down here somewhere. Let's drive around a little bit more. Just for a second. The hell? Well, that's not... Can't get it at the moment. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. How much time do I have left? Not much. I feel like... Don't get lost. Do not get lost. Where are we, where are we going? Let's go back. We'll grab this. First we'll grab this. Then, do we need to go to the sea truck? Eh, let's head to the sea truck. It's only a hundred... Meters. Sea monkey. Have you been attacked? Is that dude still there? I can't tell. Oh, there's... Yeah, okay. Alright. And... Alright, upgrades. Perimeter defense provides increased threat protection. Yeah, I assume it's like the the other defense you select it and then you charge it up and huh? You can't un can't unselect it. I don't want to use it while I'm near the monkeys. So although there we go, get away! Oh, it did hurt us. The thing, I mean, the. And it looks like you just click it. You don't have to charge it up anymore, which is nice. Alright, back to... Back this way, I suppose. That's kind of neat. It helps you get out of here as well. Lots of sea monkeys. 
What I would like to do is get some lithium. That'll be, I think, our first step. Am I going the wrong way? Am I going the right way? Okay, this, this works. Works for me. Back to hand base alpha, because we'll we'll get some lithium on the way. We'll make sure that we stop and find some, I think. Like, that's not lithium. I don't know what that is. Silver, probably. That looks like something. I don't know what that is, but it definitely looks like something. And there should be lithium here-ish. Like, that is sulfur... Metal. Yeah, the uh, all the the fact that the creatures like kind of bite you and grab on your your sea truck now makes me wonder if the one of the designers has a vor fetish. Lithium. If you don't know what vor is, don't worry about it. It's, it's being swallowed or eaten. How that's a sexual thing? I couldn't tell you. Excellent. More lithium. I will take that. I don't know how much I have. I suspect almost none. Probably like one piece. Is that lithium? What is that? That is quartz. I will take it too. We're going to head back. The goal, at least at the moment, is to head back and... Excellent. Grab as much lithium as we can. There's plenty of quartz here. I'm going to grab quartz as well. We don't need salt anymore. We have an essentially infinite supply. Oh, hey. What's up, buddy? Are you... Don't come at me. Don't come at me, bro. Just don't. Four lithium. I know that's enough. It is enough, technically, but I would like some more if we can find it. Because I'm going to use that four instantly. Is that lithium? Yes. That's probably more behind it. We'll get those. Or lithium. Just kind of eyeballing around. Just to see. <sighs> I don't know how important. There's a crash fish. Let's not go that way. I don't know how important that phone call. It's the uh, it's the vet. I just scheduled an appointment for the cats. So, you know, there's another crash fish. Let's go up. If I'm lucky, well, I'm probably not lucky. Not anymore because I didn't answer. But it's, it, it might have been something along the lines of, oh, you know, we saw you scheduled and we just had a cancellation on such and such a date. Would that work? And... It's hard. It's hard with with work being the way that it is because we take call and it's like I can't spend a couple hours at the vet if I'm on call. That just it's not It's not something I can do. You know, work is work is a cruel mistress. You know, talked to my little sister a, a while back and uh she couldn't like it, she was just incredulous at the fact that we don't always get to eat lunch like we don't get meals because they're just like oh you're gonna do this case and maybe you won't get to eat you know and this case will go and you know like, we don't have enough people for you to take a lunch break, so you're just going to have to deal with that. Oh, I hate running into fish. Did I... 
Oh, okay, there's a peeper. Let's grab the peeper. I'm gonna get near the crypto thing. Where is my... It's like, where's my sea truck? Also, leave me alone. My gosh, I am so sorry. I'm not even drinking. I can't even say that I'm drunk driving right now. I'm just regular driving. It's just... It's like driving a, a big rig, maybe. I don't have mirrors. That's true. I should have mirrors on this thing. And I could have a cute little bumper sticker on it that says, If you can't see my mirrors, I can't see you. Although that's... I mean... Man, having a blind spot on a regular car is difficult. I can't even imagine a blind spot on one of those freaking things. Like, Jesus. Especially with all the assholes on the roads, like... Welcome weaving back and forth, cutting you off, trying to do crazy stuff like that. No, that's not cool. Alright. Okay. How are the little plants coming along? Well, it seems like I might be able to harvest some of them. Which is awesome. Water! Okay, first things first. What do we have? Dead boomerang, dead peeper. Let's cook both of those. Cooked boomerang. Cooked peeper. Good. Um, I need six. Six spaces. So we'll shove... Oh, hang on. Oh, we had, we had a couple more than, than I thought we did. Um, right. Titanium ingot. Yeah, I could. I'm not going to at the moment. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. 225. That was the max in the original. I don't know. Oh. I don't know what it is now. It, they probably did not... They probably didn't increase the limits. That would not make a whole lot of sense. Titanium. Get the over that way. All right. And water. Right. Preston's plant. Preston's delight. Okay. Can I cut like one of the... There you go. Let's cut another piece and then we'll get a couple peppers. And I bet, since it's prepared, it... At least I hope it won't go bad. That's the hope, right? How big is it also? Fruit salad does not traditionally involve leaves, but at least it is nutritious and warming. Fruit salad? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does not traditionally involve leaves. I mean, technically... Whoa. That's just awesome, period. I should make a couple more of those. We can get rid of the cured Arctic peeper at this point. Jesus. That's like that full food and 30% of your water, you know? All right, how much time do we have? Not much is the answer. Uh, do we want to eat a potato? No, let's, what about a marble melon? Let's eat one of those. Yeah, same as before. 
eat another one. And then uh, cut one, pick one up. Plant four. How's the bioreactor doing? I mean, we can always just eat the old marble melon. Oh yeah, it's it's chewing up the little ones first. Because we'll need more water soon enough. All right, well, what is... Okay, so we went to Maida's last known position. Uh, and that's probably where we're going to have to go deeper, to be honest. Um, ancient artifact, that one. I mean, we can head that direction, but we don't have a lot of time. We only have a couple minutes left this episode. We can head... to the... Let's try making the, um... <coughs> Let's try making the, um... The thing. You know, the pangling, right? What do we need for the pangling? Is it deployable? Yeah. Two titanium wiring kits, silicone rubber. Uh, I don't think we have any spare silicone rubber. We might. We might, though. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a... Spare battery, we'll take that. Um, Don't see any silicone rubber, not any spare stuff. Where did I find the nickel? I think in those, like, the lily pad caves. Um, all right, so we need... We need silicone rubber. So we need to make a pangling and the remote. And then I would almost wager the pangling robot requires probably batteries. I'm just going to guess. All right. What else? Where is a oh, sea truck perimeter upgrade? Oh, that's good that it gives you the blueprints for it once you pick it up. Where, oh, did I, wait, where was it? Here. Two titanium, let's say three titanium and wiring kit, copper. Uh, one, two, three. One, two. One, two. Copper wire and wiring kit. Copper wire. All right, remote controlled observation robot. Without spy penglings, scientists may have never discovered that penglings incubate their eggs in small cave burrows often alongside thermal lily roots. Achievement unlocked spy pangling. Thermal lily roots. Thermal lilies are the ones that look like they have eyes that kind of move towards us and keep us warm outside. Yeah. So are we going to find some pangling eggs? Uh, that's the remote, I suppose. So how do I... Wow, that's small, actually. Pen Gwen. I love that name. Okay, hull, hull integrity 100%. And it's one slot. Bind quick slot, bind quick slot. I assume we equip this and then we probably just get into the spot and just... Maybe we do have to put it down though. Maybe we have to use it, you know, use this and then switch to this and use that. Probably. Oh, we still have two batteries and silicone rubber. Let's throw the silicone rubber somewhere. Here, I guess. Okay, can I eat this? That's still pretty good, actually. Let's eat it. Get all the water that we can out of it. Um, four waters. We don't really need the nutrient block at this point. The spicy fruit salad is way better. It no longer goes bad. It's better than the nutrient block in every conceivable way. 
probably loaded with preservatives as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to find the downside in every option. Every thing. Ooh, let's try eating the 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 plant. How do where's the Can I can I get to it? Do I can I go in the middle? Uh Whatever. Anyway. We need to try eating that. Well, let's save. Let's save for now. We'll go over here and we'll save. So we made some progress. We got uh, the, as far as I know, the best tank. We made the pangling. We got stuff from uh, Meta. We found the perimeter defense for the sea truck. Checked out her hut. We can make a toilet finally if we need to. Yeah, lots of progress. I, I feel like probably the next thing to do that they're pointing us towards is using the spy pengling. Uh, but who knows? That was an achievement, which is cool. Uh, f completing the bridge, I think, was like 22%. This, I don't know if that's more or less. I don't know. It, it, it's weird. It feels like given how popular the first one was, it, it kind of feels like more people would want to play this, but maybe they're aware of all the, the politics surrounding it as well. Um, regardless, I'm having fun. Thanks so much, guys. Um, you know, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? Uh, for me, it's the fact that one of my coworkers uh, is finally coming back to work tomorrow after basically being out for five months after getting sick with the illness that if you name it, they, you know, shadow ban your channel, basically. So I'm I'm already shadow banned, I'm reasonably certain, but uh, maybe I'm like shadow ban light, like the, the light version, like half shadow ban or something. I don't know, whatever. I'm going to get fully banned one of these days for who knows why, but... It doesn't matter. It, I mean, it does, but, you know, whatever. It's... <laughs> um, but that's my unique positive moment, that he's finally coming back. He's not fully 100%. He's going to take some time to acclimate into the the work. Uh, he'll probably only be able to do... Maybe not even one procedure to start with. We'll see. But, uh... Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. It's good. Uh, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully, your guys, is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.